This is Alice from Landpack Machinery. Today I'm going to introduce you one of our six lane liquid filling and packing machines. It's suitable for different types of liquid like water, juice, honey, uh, tomato paste, chili sauce and so on. And this is the finished product. You can see small capacity for size filling with easy tear cut and flat edge. The whole system is consists of five parts. Liquid storage hopper, filling and measuring structure, beam pouring structure, filling and cutting structure, and the control panel. Now let's check it one by one in details and then let's see how the machine how to run the machine. This is the liquid storage hopper. With the standard hopper is with 40 liters. This is a liquid material inlet. You can connect it with your production line. Inside the hopper, you can see this protect cover. There is a sensor here. Before you run the machine, you need to connect the tube by this connection. And then put this cover on top of the hopper. And this sensor is to control the liquid material inside the hopper. When the material is full enough to this level, the sensor will feed back to the production line and stop to feeding. If the liquid material is less than this level, it will feed back to the production line to continue feeding. And the material for this hopper is double layer stainless steel. This design is to it's specially designed for the thick liquid like blueberry, which need to fill in high temperature. You can see there is an inlet on the back side. You, before you run the machine, you, you can fill some water inside the hopper. In between the double layer stainless steel. And on the front side of the hopper you can see there is a transparent tube in front side through this tube you can uh, check the water level inside in between the double layer hopper on the edge you will find two heating tubes two heating tubes come across the hopper. By heating the water in between the double layer of stainless steel, it can, the liquid inside the material will also heat up. It can heat to 19 to 80 degrees. The temperature can be set on the control panel. There is a independent temperature controller to control to set the temperature and inside the hopper there is also a stirring device to ensure the sticky liquid can be filling and avoid precipitation. The second part is the filling and measuring part. With you can see there is a thick filling head. It that means you can produce six plates, six sachets each time. And the liquid measuring device is the piston liquid pump. The control system of the measuring device is on the back side. You can adjust the back capacity by this handle. Record the number on this scale. It could save you a lot of time 
from debugging and also it can ensure high accuracy within around 1% tolerance. Now let's move on and check the third part. Beam pouring device. You can see on the edge of the machine, there is one beam rule already installed on the beam pouring device. Both printing beam and the transparent beam is acceptable. The max beam width can, for this model can be 720 mm. The the suitable film width for your project can be designed by the sushi film, for sushi width. So, by run, running up to here to finish printing, one ribbon code printer with six printing heads can print six sushi at the same time. You can you can print production day, barcode, and other number. Max max 3 lines 45 words after finished printing the film will move to this position there is a UV laser lamp here installed here it is to sterilizing the film before making back it's for Double guarantee for food safety. And the fourth part is the sealing and cutting part. You can see the vertical sealing structure here. And this is the horizontal sealing structure and the cutting the cutting structure. On the vertical sealing structure you can you will find the easy tear cutting device is to making easy tear cut. And all the structure is treated by teflon coating to anti rusty and prolong their life. After sealing and cutting, the product will run out from this finished product conveyor and this is the control panel you will find there are many temperature controller on this panel this is the vertical temperature controller and this is the horizontal temperature controller this is the temperature controller for the storage hopper is to control the leak material inside the hopper. For example, now it's a 53 degree for the liquid. And this is the touch screen. The speed generally can be 10 to 35 bags per, per minute each lane. So by six lane, the max speed can reach uh, over 180 bags per minute. That means this one six lane packing machine equals to five to six small small machines. So if you are considering to increase your dairy production need with less cost and uh, less space occupied, the multi-lane filling and packing machine is your best choice. Now let's see how the machine works.
that's all for my today's introduction. If you got any other questions, please contact us through below link. Thanks for watching. Bye.